Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. So in the previous video we have created Swiggy microservice where the basic API is like restaurant, menu and uh, we are able to expose them through the Swagger. So if you have seen our Swagger API stack looks like this and they are perfectly working. Uh, we have fixed the enum types like you can create a enum, uh, you can create a menu for a restaurant you just need to pa pass the meal type and all these are the enums. And all the different validations like you can you cannot pass uh, invalid UUIDs. You have to pass the payload while creating the restaurant and the menu based on what we have defined in our DDOs. So this is about our APIs, right? And we have the data also now in the database. So that is pretty much like we have done. Here you can see the restaurant we have created. And we also have now restaurant menu items available in the system now next thing what we are going to do is let's take a look on to the, our architecture and see what all we have done we have we have done the basic of the first microservice now next thing we are going to talk about is the graphql interface we are going to write for it okay so for that let's go here and let's check our architecture what we have Okay, now we can focus on this uh, GraphQL service. What actually it is doing is it is talking, it is going to talk to our Swiggy service through REST interface, right? So either we can choose a simple Node.js with the GraphQL or we can also choose Nest.js with the GraphQL. So Nest.js also provide extension for that, that we can use. But we also need like uh, other modules so that the GraphQL service can talk to these different REST endpoints. So we'll go into the documentation and here we can see a uh, GraphQL interface for NestJS. Right, it also provides all these uh, query imitations and subscribers. What we need to do is basically we have to do a GraphQL modules we have to define the schema right so we will just define the the schema and in that schema it can be the gql file in the gql file we will define all our either you can have one single gql file or you can define all the different gql files you can just put a particular types path okay so we have two different options either we just directly use an SAS with the graphql or we can actually use uh, express with apollo so Apollo provides the express server using which we can create a GraphQL server. Okay, there we just need to, uh, we need to uh, type definition schema and schema that contains the resolvers and uh, the queries. Okay, if we just talk about query and when to use GraphQL mutations, we'll just talk, go into the documentation. So this is our, our Apollo GraphQL. And the client can be anything here we are talking about the server right so full stack tutorial build a schema the main basic thing for the graphql is building the schema schema means the data which you are going to expose to your client right we have next years with the graphql at the client side that will do the query and mutation and we will respond based on that right so this graphql server will have the schema and type definition like this is the type definition and we are passing the type definition in the Apollo server that is bootstrapping our server right and here our NestJS services can be independent they will be talking to this GraphQL API gateway API gateway first will be validating the token and then it will be calling the our respective rest endpoint to get the data so here we are doing query we can also do the mutations and then we can start a server Right, once GraphQL server is ready, our front end will make a request. Okay, and then the GraphQL will actually do the send the response based on which particular service you are targeting that you will decide in the GraphQL API gateway, right? So here we are writing the query resolvers, we are writing the mutations, all these things. So we are going to start with the GraphQL. So basic idea is either you go ahead with the NetCS, uh, we just need to find up proper pattern in the NestJS to call to these respective uh, HTTP services if we are going to use NestJS with the GraphQL or Node.js with the GraphQL using Apollo. 
it also in, uh, internally it's using apollo only if you see what all we are importing graphql tools apollo server express right because nextjs is also something built on top of express it is just giving you the pattern okay this is how you initialize graphql module this is how you uh, provide the graphql schema definitions and all okay this is how we are creating the resolvers like in the controllers right now we are creating the the route uh, you will be writing the modules right all the field uh, mapping and all so that we can see in the code now the next thing is very important is understanding how this api gateway is going to work okay because that will also add uh, the learning of graphql you will understand okay what is the queries what is the mutations how to start a graphql server how to expose these uh, type definitions and schema from there the resolvers i mean we have to use these annotations provided by nes yes uh, annotation resolver annotation query and all this is a resolver of author and these are the queries like get particular author or get author by id for that particular post right query type names so kind of similar structures it's more opinionated i mean providing a proper structure that express with the graphql is like you can decide what kind of structure you want but that also, that is also some kind of a fixed syntax you have to write to and this also will be a little tricky if we use nesias graphql we need to understand all these uh, tags all these annotations for the resolvers for the query and all so we we can decide that uh, and we can get started on this so our objective is to get started on this and this also another service this service can be a simple nesjs service which just takes the token as authorization and validate that token and give it give the response back to us right so let's first write this which is auth gateway service it can have a simple controller or it can just uh, validate endpoint that will take authorization token we'll just say yes or no to us okay so let's build this one from the next video uh, thanks everyone